Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We are very happy to start and kick off this tutorial uh, finally. And you know, when we started this tutorial series, producing this tutorial series, we just sat down and discussed and we said, you know what, we really want to give something really good and excellent to our subscribers. So we've been working very hard. So, and we are just happy that you guys are here to come and, and look at these videos together with us. So thank you so much for tuning in. I also just want to say that in when you watch the video tutorials, just feel free to comment in the YouTube channels, YouTube videos. These comments help us to understand a bit more on, on your questions and what you are looking for. And also these comments help us get this video out because the more comments there are, the more YouTube will, will point these videos to people to watch. So yeah, just feel free to ask any questions and let's continue. So what is this tutorial all about? You know, there are really a lot of tutorials out there in YouTube and even in the Unreal Engine website teaching you all about architectural visualization um, using Unreal Engine. But so where do we come in? What do we want to do? You know, how are we different from these tutorials? So when we thought about creating this tutorial, we want to give our viewers something like a zero to hero kind of tutorial where we, we want to use very simple techniques so they are not difficult, they, they, they really are very basic techniques but also it's, it's really meant um, or rather designed for someone who have absolutely no background in architectural visual, visualization at all so we will be covering through from the beginning from how we model even from AutoCAD you know and stuff like that all the way to, to Unreal Engine you know so so for those of you who have absolutely no idea you're just a student or you're just starting out in ArchVis then this tutorial is for you because it goes step by step from the beginning to the end but of course having said that you know this is also for those who who, who are already you know I, I've known some stuff in Unreal Engine I just want to know a little bit more about light maps or a little bit more about lighting so what we do is we try to break down these videos into very small chunks and label them as detailed as possible so if you find that okay this is something for me good for you but if you are just looking for that one video or that one tutorial then you can just probably skip some of this more basic stuff and go straight into it you know we also learned from our previous tutorial series that you don't just want to monkey see monkey do approach where we just tell you to do this and you do that but you want to know the skills but also the theory behind it why we do what we do so we will be going through a little bit more on those on why we do what we do you know what makes a photo uh, or rather what makes a scene photo realistic um, what are some of the thoughts that goes behind how to design a, a, a house you know a, a, a loft like this you know because we we have uh, interior designing background so we just want to share with you some of the thoughts that goes through our mind you know on how to make a scene look good you know so that's that's what this tutorial is all about as well and finally we, we, we want to approach this tutorial with a real project if you were to deliver an actual architectural visualization to your customer you know what is the deliverables that you want to give your customer you know so this is where we we want to give you an actual project you know in our past series we we use a small room and and, and there's nothing much in it but in this one we are we are using a full-fledged loft a full-fledged house with all the furnitures in it so so the performance and stuff like that they are they are they are more towards a real life scenario so hopefully this will benefit you so you know this channel being an unreal channel we we really want to focus on a real time and vr arch fees. you know so so we are focusing on presenting or delivering a real a real time walkthrough using unreal engine and so why do we focus on it so much you know we, we sincerely believe that vr is the future of uh, arch -vis. So of course there's a space for 2D rendering and videos and stuff like that but but 
when you are in a real time and VR environment, there's always a presence. There's always a sense of scale where you you can really have a have a real feedback um, to the design that you are presenting to the customer. So it it makes us feel like we are stepping into the the design itself, which is why. Uh, I really believe in this technology and why we are focusing so much in it. So, so this tutorial will focus more on delivering a real-time experience and not so much uh, just focusing on delivering a good 2D rendering. Although in Unreal Engine, when you have the project file um, ready, you can take 2D screenshots. Um, of course, in Unreal Engine, the 2D screenshots will never be as beautiful I mean, it's close, but it will never be as beautiful as what you can produce in V-Ray. But it's, I would say it's 90% close. So, but eventually we will still want to focus in this tutorial on delivering a real-time walkthrough. So when we talk about real-time walkthroughs, we will definitely be using the Unreal Engine. So if you don't know what Unreal Engine is, um, it's basically a game engine. And there are many, many game engines that you can use to create ArchViz, you know, to create real-time ArchViz. But Unreal Engine has so far been the, the one that is most popular for architectural visualization. I guess because when, when most of us started looking into using a game engine, you know, a couple of years back, Unreal Engine really is the one with the greatest visual results. You know, of course, now Unity um, I've seen some of the demos and, and they, they look really good as well. But a lot of us have invested a lot of those time to really learn Unreal Engine. And, and during that time, we make that choice because of the great visual results. The light mass was really fantastic. And of course, uh, Unreal Engine has blueprints, which, which is sort of like a, a, you know, a GUI way of programming, which is a lot easier than learning an actual programming language. Um, Unreal Engine also has great, you know, workflow with Datasmith or what we call Unreal Studio, right? It's, it's very easy. It's just one click of a button. Well, it's not one click of a button, but it's easy to use and suitable for VR experiences. Great community support. You know, the forums, you can get a lot of help in the forums, you know, Facebook pages. Um, people are just really helpful and, and the guys in Unreal Engine are... Are really helpful and and there are a lot of tools in the product family like um you know now they have integrated with rtx stuff like that they are in the forefront of technology so i really love using unreal engine um they they create the best i mean uh, arch fees that that uh that i have been creating so so in this tutorial we will definitely focus on unreal engine you know, and lastly, I just want to share with you, you know, our goal for this course. I believe the knowing the end is the best way to start. <laughs> so this is our goal for the course. It's a two-story loft um, that we created in one of our projects and we, we strive for photorealism. Of course, uh, it's not a perfect um, piece of work. You know, we want to be perfect, but nothing can be perfect. You know, it, it looks nice, but, but as the creator of it, I know that there are definitely other areas of improvement. But I think it's, it's good enough. It's something that I'm comfortable to share with our customer. You know, so this is um, the goal for our, for, for our project, for our tutorial, for this entire series. And by the end of this series, I'll have given you all the tools, all the knowledge, all the skills, all the know-hows to create this scene. So I hope this gets you excited and let's continue. So before we end, I just want to share a bit more on how you can support the channel. So first of all, um, all the PowerPoint files that we use in this tutorial, you can download it. So when you download the PowerPoint files and any project files that we give to the channel through Gumroad, your email will be um, captured by us. So we will send some marketing materials in the future if you allow us to do so. Of course, you can choose to opt out, but this will help us in our marketing efforts. Of course, um, the final UE4 project file, uh, it will be for sale as well. 
So if uh, it is it is priced at a usual tutorial cost fee, but this is absolutely not compulsory. So if you feel you want to support the channel, you can get the UE4 project file um, for a price. So all these links, uh, as we are preparing for the YouTube uh, videos, we will slowly add all these files into our Gumroad page. So some are not ready yet, some are already can be downloaded. So you can refer to the YouTube description for the links to where to download these project files. And also, I just want to share with you the way to contact us. We have a YouTube channel. Um, you can contact us directly through email. And of course, the easiest way to find us actually is through our Facebook channel. You can directly message us. So these are the links to where you can contact us if you have any questions, you need any help. Uh, feel free to just look for us. Uh, of course, um, if you can remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button. So when we post a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lesson.